Welcome back to more Power Boating in Paradise with Adventures of the Members of the Florida Power Boat Club. This is Stu Jones welcoming our viewers from around the globe as we pick up the pace here on the annual Key West Offshore Poker Run, the 2020, I call it the COVID edition, which featured 160 Poker Run teams from all over the United States making their way southbound through the Florida Keys to Key West. And before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Let's begin with our 2020 series sponsors, including Deep Impact Custom Boats, their sister company, Blackwater Boats, and their exclusive worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart. Together, these three companies offered the grand prize sponsorship, a $25,000 prize to the top winner of the poker run. And continuing our 2020 series sponsors, Mercury Racing, Wide Open, Mystic Power Boats, Myco Trailers, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, and Superior Communications, our second prize sponsor. And the one thing I keep hearing from all of our viewers is bring more horsepower to me. Well, now we got Connor to me, who's bringing you the horsepower. But guess what, guys? The helicopter is so far away that we cannot capture the roar of those Mercury Racing 700s quite the way we'd like to. Uh, so just want to thank Connor and Allie for putting on a good show. We're opening the show with them because we closed the last show with them. It's only appropriate because it's their second Key West Poker Run. They joined us on the 2019 Key West event. One year later, fast forward, they trailered the boat back from Maryland. And we're catching up with them now on these kind of bumpy waters along this coastal section from Marathon heading into Key West. And I think we're going to continue this segment with, what, another white boat. Well, this one's a cat, though. Mrs. War Party. It's a 368 skater and a couple that we all know so well in this sport, Bubba and Brittany Crisco. Well, it's not official yet. They are going to get married real soon. Hopefully, it's on one of our poker runs since that's where they met in the first place. The two of them have been in the industry for a very long time. And I just think it's cool how they continued this war party tradition, saying there's no party like a war party. Of course, we all remember Bubba owning an Apache for many, many years. Then he went to a cigarette and now having fun with this skater and their other boat. Well, it's an airship. The skater is a 2017 model and it is recently rigged by Troy Hannon from Supreme Marine. Those are Mercury Racing 450Rs. The Key West Poker Run is a big tradition for them. They said in their video bio they're looking forward to many more years and memories with Florida Powerboat Club and they appreciate the years of friendship from Stu and Jackie Jones. Well, we love having you guys, and if you can tie the knot on this year's Key West Poker Run, that will be one mega party. And please join me in welcoming Alex Pratt from Michigan, who is also a sponsor this year, Team Good Boy Vodka. And I can't think of a better billboard than Alex's new 48-foot MTI powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. Good Boy Vodka's promotional message is, life is good, let's make it even better. The brand was founded in Lake of the Ozarks in summer of 2020. I think that's an appropriate location to establish a new liquor brand, considering they do consume a little bit of liquor there every summer, last time I checked. And you'll notice a little puppy in the Good Boy Vodka logo. That's because the brand donates 3% of their profits to animal shelters. And as for Alex Pratt, to his background with the Florida Powerboat Club was he joined us in 2019. Back then it was in a Nortec 450 Sport Center console. So this is a big changeover going to a 48 foot MTI. And thanks to Alex and his crew for all of the extra Good Boy Vodka cases that we used as poker run prizes. And one of my favorite locations, uh, getting the cool money shot as we pass underneath the seven mile bridge, that's Jason Bourne in his 50-foot Outer Limits. It's powered by Mercury Racing Dual Cal 1550s. And many of you who are close to Outer Limits would already know this, but for the rest of us, I just wanna share that Jason Bourne and his family are now part owners of the Outer Limits brand and providing the much needed factory support and funding to generate new models and keep the Outer Limits brand at the forefront of the performance marine industry. On this year's roster, which is down by at least 100 boats, Outer Limits still maintains double-digit representation with a total of 10 Outer Limits models here on this 28th annual Key West Poker Run.
We're getting some really dramatic angles here as the helicopter gets up real high. It's giving us some great shots of these coastal waters near Marathon towards Key West. Now we're going to spend a little bit of time with Mark and Susan Monroe from New Jersey. They're in their 360 right performance cat on your mark. I think they're celebrating, I think it's close to three years now. They were one of the first uh, to take a leap of faith and try this new model from Performance Boat Center, and they couldn't be happier. They are just having a blast with this boat. Who'd have known that a guy who used to own a lot of cigarettes would jump into an outboard cat and say he'd never go back. So a real testament to how much people are really loving these outboard catamarans. Of course, he's taking his time right now because Susan's on board and she's probably going to smack him in the head if she hits too many waves really hard. So he's doing the right thing and he's just managing his ride through this chop. I know there's some of you out there that would be hammering the throttles right about now and just plowing through this, but I'm going to command Mark on taking care of his crew and giving them a smooth ride. And another very popular outboard cat, this Mystic 4000. It's powered by Mercury Racing 450s and piloted by Ryan Zavitsky, who's from the Mystic factory. Uh, they build these boats in Deland, Florida. And it's nice to see the company owner, John Kosker, who seems to be remaining somewhat loyal to his roots and his older customers who love catamarans. And of course, he built a lot of racing Mystics over the years, but now spending a lot of time building center consoles. But the fact that he keeps this 40-foot uh, cat in his model lineup, I think, will keep his loyal customers happy and, of course, attract some new buyers as well. John Kosker revealed to me recently he's got a new version, a carbon edition of this 40 cat. Runs a little faster, something that might excite those who are looking for that top speed number. Now let's say hi to Bob and Charlene Lattis from Massachusetts who are rejoining us here in this Key West event with their new MTI Slot V 42 center console, Quad Mercury Racing 450s. A beautiful paint job. Doesn't get much better than this, guys. Bob, I got to tell you, man, that's a beautiful boat. And Bob and many other families within the Florida Powerboat Club represent, uh, you know, a growing trend of those hardcore boaters who still want to have a big platform where they can bring all their friends and it doesn't look like they had to leave too many friends behind on this one got probably eight or ten people on board all having a nice ride sitting down and you know even in this chop they're maintaining i'd say at least 40 miles per hour and just having a wonderful ride bob's other boat is well of course it's an mti yes he's got an mti 39 cat as well must be hard to decide which boat you're going to bring but i think in this case the 42v was the way to go MTI boats are represented by one of our sponsors, Performance Boat Center. They have sales centers in South Florida as well as Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. And continuing to be a very scenic day here as we catch up with Scott Higgs from Missouri. 50-foot outer limits. This one different than the ones we saw earlier. This is an SV50. And like many outer limits in the club, this one came from another member. Once belonged to Scott Favre. Booby Trap is the new name. I think that may have won Scott the best team name for the Key West run. This SV50 is powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. Notice the SV models are a little more sleek and cut down than the SL models. They have a sit-down cockpit as well. Now let's welcome for their first Key West event, Shane and Vicki Franks in their statement 42 Ultimate. It's one of five that were ever made. This one is number three. One of the unique features of this boat is the air ride suspension on the cockpit. And Shane says the boat has a tremendous amount of detail. For power, it's Mercury Racing 700s with number six drives. The green paint job is from the original paint when the boat was built in 2012. And I think that Shane likes the green because his company, well, it's called Green Construction. And not that anyone's keeping track, but of the five 42 Ultimates that were made by Statement, four of them belong to Florida Powerboat Club members.
as promised, we always give you guys the roar of those big V8s, my Mercury Racing 540s and the Project 1080. They sound pretty stout, so we hope you enjoyed the music. And I would like to say a very special thank you to my guests, Rob and Tara Rill, who actually have a home in Ocala, Florida, but live full-time and work in Puerto Rico. They're joined by their friends, Billy Young and uh, his wife. And here's another cameo appearance from Matt and Anne Marie Raymond from North Carolina, Fountain 48 Express. Now we had to take a second look to figure out who this boat was, but it turns out it's Jeb and Stephanie Bradshaw, also from North Carolina. In fact, they're running alongside uh, the Raymonds who are in that 48 Fountain. Jeb tells us that his outer limits just wasn't ready, so it couldn't make it. But nice to have a backup boat. This is a fully restored 1987 Scarab Super Sport. Now, there was no team name listed for the boat, so I'm just going to make one up. I'm going to call you guys Team Vanilla. And here's a family team from Georgia. That's Kyle Fowler along with his parents, Mike and Lisa Fowler. They live in Georgia and have been active with the club for about four or five years now. But this new 2020 Fountain 38-foot center console, which is powered by Merck 400Rs, is their new Poker Run play toy. It made its debut at the last event, the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week. And let's say hi now to Kurt Watkins, uh, who's got this screaming fast uh, Nortec 390 Sport. Why is it so fast? Well, take a look at the transom. Four Mercury Racing 450s. You can't bolt any more power on a boat like this with a 10-foot beam. <laughs> But he likes going fast, and in fact, he's one of the few club members who's downsized from much bigger boats. Uh, he had a 52-foot skater for a while. That became a 40. Then he had a 450 Nortec Sport. Now he's got a 390. And so nice to see Bill Melchon return to the event uh, from New Jersey. He's been here many times before in different boats, but it's the first time in this 42-foot MTI center console. It's powered by Quad Mercury Racing 400Rs, a 2018 model. And I really love the gray and silver paint scheme with the neon yellow accents. And when asked why he returns to Key West, well, that's because they have a blast at every Key West event. And now picking up on this mammoth, this huge HCB 53 Suenos, uh, it's actually a 60-foot boat if you measure it stem to stern. David Peterson from Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, this one powered by Quad 7 Marines. What an impressive ride. And, of course, David has been a part of this event many, many times in the past. Taken a few years off, but back at it now, joining the club, as he did for so many years. Started out with a big 47 Apache. Then he got into the skater thing for a couple of years. But here he is now in this big 53 Suenos and tells me that he's got a new one also ordered. So can't wait to see the new ride. The only difference of that one's going to be powered by Mercury Racing. Just wondering, is it going to be 450s or the new 600s? Can't wait to find out. And I can't help but notice just how beautiful these Baywater conditions are as we now catch up with Al and Chris Sato. They hail from Connecticut, but also spend quite a bit of time in South Florida. This is our new Nortec 390, powered by triple Mercury 400Rs, and that replaces Hammerdown 1, which was a 340 sport. They brought on the runs before. It's the third year in a row now for the Key West Poker Run. The Nortec 390 sport has now become the most popular Nortec ever built. They've already reached over 300 builds. And it looks like we've got a little Nortec rally going here, kind of like our last episode. And quite appropriately, Tron Scow, a Nortec co-owner, founded the company 30 years ago. His personal boat, right here. It's a Nortec 390 Sport. Has the dual row seating, a lot of custom features, triple Mercury Racing 450s, and what you can't see, a Sea Keeper 3 down below. So one thing this boat cannot do is rock and roll. And let's welcome back Hans Blix, second year in a row on the Key West run in his Nortec 390. Uh, this year he made it a family affair with his wife Kristen, his daughter Hedda with her husband Robbie, and his daughter Elsa with her boyfriend Zach. Interesting story that Hans shared with us in his video bio the previous year in 2019, about seven days before the poker run, he had an appendix attack and he had to have his appendix removed 
but he went on the Key West poker run anyway. And he said it was a little dicey on that last leg from Marathon down to Key West, but fortunately, he survived. And let's catch up now with Noel and Gretchen Speranza from the Sarasota area in their 44-foot concept quad mercury racing 400Rs, custom paint, a huge cabin down below, and just plowing their way through these bumpy seas from Marathon down to Key West. I know that some of you are wondering, well, why did the last few boats have these really calm conditions, and now we've got the Speranzas, you know, pounding through this, uh, this chop? Well, that's because the helicopter's going back and forth from the group that went on the North Channel side, the protected side, and here on the coastal Atlantic side. And I think that these concept owners were just proving that they could tough it out in the rough waves. And no better person to prove that than the company co-owner Eric Avila, uh, who is in a factory-sponsored 4400 model. It's going to be on display at the Poker Run Village in Key West. This one's also powered by Quad Mercury Racing 400Rs. And just look at the massive cabin forward. This is a very big boat. I've ridden on them before. They have a lot of creature comforts a ton of freeboard and an ideal machine for doing exactly what they're doing right now and that's running in these coastal waters. And now I'm going to spend a little bit of time with the Fast Cats uh, catching up here first with Matt Borsina from New York with his Wright Performance 360 Cat powered by Mercury Racing 450s. It's Matt's second Wright Performance Cat. And now for a new segment in our show, we want to thank all of our viewers for their comments. So let's begin today with Matthew Carlisle from the UK. He says about the Key West episode number six, another great video. I'm grinning from ear to ear. Well done, Stu. Well, thank you, Matthew. We really appreciate the comment. And I can't take all the thanks because I got a really great crew behind me. Neil Blakey recently watched the Spring Key West sizzle video. He said, always a pleasure to watch your videos. Thank you, Stu. You're welcome, Neil, and stay tuned because we got some really exciting full-length episodes for that very same Key West Spring event. Fraser McLeod's been on our site many times making comments, and recently, after watching Key West 2020, episode number four, he said, love watching these videos Saturday and Sunday morning. Reminds me of the days of powerboat television I'd watch as a kid. Thanks for making that happen. Well, Fraser, we have that in common. That's how I picked out that you're from Canada because Powerboat Television is a Canadian powerboating show. I used to watch it myself for years and I really enjoyed it. And this next comment is from Jeffrey Taylor who watched the Key West 2020 episode number three recently. He says, the video bar has been raised. Future FPC participants will have expectations. I'm sure you'll be able to meet them. We better meet them. I think that we sometimes raise the bar intentionally so we can keep putting out better shows, and that's exactly what we've been doing. Thanks, Jeffrey, for your continued support. And all the way from Germany, we heard from Klausi TV, who recently watched Key West 2020, episode number one. He said, so many beautiful boats, awesome to watch, and cheers from Germany. Well, cheers back to you from Ryan and I here in the Pompano Beach studio. I think I'm going to crack a beer here in just a few minutes. Okay, back to the boats here on this Thursday run. This is an uncommon shot because you can see the boats are coming in from the ocean side through that seven mile bridge over to the bay side. That is not something that we normally do. We usually do it the opposite way. But remember now, we all had lunch at Boot Key and now we're running on the inside for the protective route into Key West. Now catching up with Brett Manier from Performance Boat Center in this Wright Performance 360 Cat. He's got another one riding alongside. It looks like a 420. This is about to become a Performance Boat Center sponsor segment because they're all running together. And look at these amazing conditions. Uh, off to the west, you can see the Key West Sunset starting to take shape. Brett's running this 360 Wright Performance Cat, a brand new one, Mercury Racing 450s. And for just a little bit of background, for those of you who are new to the show, the Wright Performance Cat is an exclusive to Performance Boat Center. So everyone asks then, what is the connection to Doug Wright? Well, he builds this particular model and the 420 exclusively for Performance Boat Center. They complete the boats from there, including all paint, custom interior, and rigging. And here now is, uh, once again, 
Brad Exton, who we saw in the last episode. He was joined by his girlfriend, Carly Cavanaugh, and he made this an opportunity to entertain some business colleagues. What does he tell us about his boat? Well, it's a Wright Performance 420, built by the Lake of the Ozarks Performance Boat Center. Dependable, fast, well-balanced, and inexpensive to operate. All summed up, it's high performance at a reasonable cost. And Brad's favorite thing about power boating, the smile it puts on his face. And it's a one more time with Bill and Megan Wiles from Texas. We saw a lot of them in the last episode and had quite a few stories to tell about their journeys and the episodes they went through to get here. But Megan, well, she's the center of all those stories. One thing I left out was that while she was doing a trailer repair on the side of the road, a bunk cross member actually smacked her right in the head, gave her a black eye, chipped her tooth, but she kept going and she still managed to make the 1400 mile trip. And let's say hi now to Joy McAllister, did the event in his completely redone formula, was joined by Drew Simmons, Derek Hollerman, and a newbie to the crew, Roman Kellum. He says in his bio, it was a tremendous shuffle to get the boat ready for the poker run. He bought it from somebody in Miami just a couple of months before the run, brought it all the way back to LaGrange, Georgia, and somehow managed to get the boat ready on time. And we're now catching up with David Wilkes uh, as he runs these bay waters near Marathon, kind of in the same location where we were earlier this year, back in January, where David brought this 1999 Scarab uh, triple 502 Mercs for power. And now joining uh, Bruno and Rebecca Perret, who live in Boca Raton, a very familiar looking 39 foot Outer Limits Team Megawatts. Well, why is it familiar? Because they make this event every year. And now joining Alex Tambellis uh, from New York and his 43 foot Black Thunder Team McMonster. It's late in the day and that bright sunshine is really lighting up his graphics. Now here's a cool shot, let's get our bearings. That's the Baya Honda Bridge as uh, David Wilkes passes through in his uh, 43 foot Scarab. Looks like he's gonna choose to take the offshore route, but you know, of course this boat is built for these kind of conditions. Let's listen in to these Mercury Racing 502 EFIs because they sound sweet. And looking at these calm seas, you can tell now the helicopter has shifted back once again to that more protected route, which is the north route, we call it. Uh, these boats are gonna travel through the Saddle Bunch Keys. There is some critical navigation involved, so it's good to go with a group. I believe I took uh, maybe 15 boats with me and we just kind of weaved our way through the Saddle Bunch Keys out to the north side. And it really is a much better course when you have these strong east winds but if any of you can remember, uh, there was a hurricane that just went through a few days earlier. So a lot of the uh, coastal turbulence is still just kind of hanging around. Uh, even if the winds have died down, uh, those seas are still bumpy and it's always safer to go on the backside. So we are going to circle back and now we're picking up a group who are just leaving the lunch stop as we catch up with John Kosker, our factory sponsor from Mystic Power Boats and his demo, which is a brand new M4200, uh, Quad Mercury Racing 450s. And just look how everyone is taking advantage of their own little seating area. Three crew members uh, up in the bow area, another three or four behind the center console, and then somebody just taking that lone corner seat. But look at John's going offshore. They have decided not to take that north, a more protected route. John says, the heck with that, we're going offshore, guys. And that's exactly what Whale and Joe did following along. Remember. There's a group of Mystics running together today. Whalen Joe is among them, and he's enjoying his brand new Mystic M4200. Same power with the Quad 450s, and he had just completed the Tampa Bay Poker Run back in September. So this is his second showing here, uh, joining the Florida Powerboat Club for this November Key West event. And look at now another Mystic Cat has jumped into frame. This is Edmundo Tamayo from Miami. It's a 38-foot Mystic Cat, his first time with the club. T-38 
team a fit for life. And I met Edmund No and his lovely lady the night before at the captain's meeting. And indeed, they are very fit. Yes, they are. I'm sorry, guys, but good looking couple. And so happy to see new members coming into the club. And we hope to see you again soon on a Florida Powerboat Club adventure. I would like to say a very special thank you to Mystic Powerboats, uh, John Kosker and his entire crew for being great supporters of this organization. And I'm so happy to see just how far the Mystic brand has come in the last 10 years. And we appreciate your continued support. So this final shot wraps up our aerial segment as we now find ourselves arriving in Key West. And we have just beautiful conditions here in Key West. You would never know that it was even windy or choppy out in those uh, coastal waters. But everyone arriving here, certainly the front runners, making it now here to our sponsor dock at the Conk Republic Seafood Company. Of course, this is a, one of many locations uh, where all of the boats are being docking for the weekend here in the Key West Historic Seaport. Of course, the really big show right here at the Conk Republic, and that's why we call it the Sponsor Dock. It's a privilege that we get to all of our feature sponsors, and that's one of the attractions for Alex Pratt here with Team Good Boy Vodka. He'll be able to park his MTI right up front and center so he can promote his Good Boy Vodka brand. Hey, Mary, Mary, what's up? Mary, I'm over here. Mary, it's Stu. Of course, uh, Deep Impact among them uh, are sponsors who come back year after year, Mark and Eileen Fisher, uh, in their Deep Impact 399. Actually, they didn't have a demo available, so they had to borrow this one from fellow member Paul Bertusi. This is beer money. Team Black Thunder Offshore arrived a day earlier. They came down on the Wednesday run. Now, for those of you who are curious about just how the docking works on these big events, uh, remember that the Conk Republic Seafood Company is not a transient marina. Uh, it's a restaurant that we do a buyout of their docks, and they displace a number of commercial boats so that we can put on our poker run show right here beside the restaurant. But there in the background, of course, is A&B Marina, which is also one of our host marinas. And those slips that we get uh, are available to our club members, especially those who sign up early. Now, looking straight beyond this uh, 52 MTI Super Veloce, that's the Key West Bite, also known as the Key West City Marina. They have the largest marina in the historic seaport and can take more than 50 or 60 Florida Powerboat Club members every year. There are two other big marinas that do take transient docking, but typically you got to get in early and that is the Galleon Marina as well as Conk Harbor. But the good news is that if you get registered early enough, and uh, for those of you who are curious, registration for Key West 2021 has just opened. So by the time this show airs, we've already got the event details up on the website and the registration form is now active. Remember that you do have to be an active member with the Florida Powerboat Club in order to send us a registration form but all of the club membership programs are clearly outlined on the FPC website at flpowerboat.com. So you can pretty much get all of your details covered and squared away early in the year. And the sooner that you do get registered, the more likely you're going to be able to get that preferred dock and your preferred hotel. Changing the viewpoint now uh, with these images from our ZipZap power camera, thanks to Ked. Uh, for getting down to Key West and catching us as we arrive. There we are in the Project 1080 cigarette coming off on plane. I think his vantage point here is right on the jetty by the Galleon Marina. You can stand and look one way into the harbor as uh, Ked did to get these shots of our teams idling into the Key West Bight. And this, of course, is the same harbor where the offshore powerboat races are conducted every year. This year, of course, 2020 being the first year that they are not having the races. I just hope that everyone in town appreciates that the Florida Powerboat Club has made it. And here's Scott Higgs getting into his slip at A&B Marina. And you had to notice all the big yachts uh, that were there as well. And that's important to know because, you know, we can't go to Key West and expect to get every slip that's available because... You know, all boaters like going to Key West, and particularly a lot of people with big yachts, 
They go into a and Marina and settle in for weeks or months at a time. So it's difficult for an organization like ours to come into, you know, Key West Harbor and expect to have docking available to us. It just doesn't work that way. So we try to get what we can. Uh, we're thankful that Galleon and A&B Marina and the Key West City Marina all give us, you know, whatever available space they have. Uh, but it just does go fast. And it's important to understand that we're not the only game in town. You know, this is a popular boating destination. And I think that we've got a great relationship with our marine partners here. But I want everyone to understand that when we tell you you're going to be docked in Stock Island, that's going to be uh, the reality as we go forward. Uh, there's more docking available there. There's bigger marinas there. They're all modern and updated facilities. And I think that that's just going to be the, the new normal for anybody that signs up for Key West. And, of course, the big show dock side as the boats come in. Uh, this is kind of the look that you're going to see for the next several days. This is probably the busiest dock with hundreds and hundreds of people walking by, you know, all throughout the day. And I think that's why the Poker Run Village is such a big success. Of course, uh, because of COVID, we were unable to host the Poker Run Village. Uh, we did still keep the Conquer Public Seafood Company as our headquarter. We had an 80-foot tent put up, but that's it. We did not have any manufacturer or dealer or sponsor displays. Uh, because of the restrictions due to COVID. And I realize that as this video is released, we know that we are not out of the pandemic and COVID is certainly not over, but it's April now as this episode hits YouTube and we're talking about November several months from now. So we certainly are optimistic that we will be through the worst part of this terrible uh, COVID-19 journey that we've had for the last year or more. So let us just enjoy these uh, sights and sounds of the teams coming in after a long day on the water. A lot of fun watching everybody. <laughs> Matt uh, having a little bit of fun with his first mate, Don. Uh, but just amazing sights watching these teams come in. And these are all really avid boaters. Notice how the lines and the fenders are out. These guys are hardcore boaters. And everywhere they go, they have got their act together. They've got their crews trained. Look at this deep impact with all the fenders nicely placed. If you come in to this show and you're not ready, you don't have your lines and fenders ready, then people are gonna laugh at you. People are gonna give you a hard time. And that's just the way we gotta do things. Now I'm gonna give Team Joe Jack a slide on this one because here he is almost ready to dock and all they manage to do is get what appears to be one fender out. When you pull into this basin, your lines and your fenders need to be out and ready. You can see here that his crew rallied and uh, did a nice entry. Well guys, that was an action-packed episode. It has brought back fond memories to me of that fabulous day of boating back in November of 2020. And a quick shot here from Galleon Marina as we catch up with Out of Line. One more fire up, guys, because I know you want to hear these Mercury Racing 700s. Well, the party's getting started right here in Key West. So, guys, we will return to you with lots of action from Key West in our next episode. And you don't want to miss it. So be sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Click that notification bell so you get all of the updates every time a new episode is released. sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming poker run events in 2021 as well as membership information you can follow us on facebook at florida powerboat club and you can follow us on twitter and on these instagram pages thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page and you guys know who you are and i really do appreciate that but if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.
We have got a fantastic year planned for 2021 with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. So stay with us. Meanwhile, we're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right. And always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.